Hey y'all, today I come to you guys on a topic that is very dear to me today. Um, It is something that uh, I basically live my everyday life around, and that is trust. Um, I pretty much feel like I got tried today. Um, I feel like the devil tried me. Um, I've been just relaxing, trying to get my thoughts straight and get my life in order for myself. And I was addressed via social media about some bullshit that I don't even have anything to deal with. And I'm not calling that one individual a devil. No, I'm not. I'm just saying that I know the devil has capabilities of manipulating someone's brain and making them feel as if it's something more going on that isn't just going on. And assumptions will make an ass out of you. At the end of the day, we are all adults and communicating is the key, you know? Sometimes it's okay to text a motherfucker or inbox a motherfucker, but if you don't have your thoughts correct, you just be making yourself look like a fool. Trust, I've been there, you know what I'm saying? And I kind of feel like that was my um, karma in a sense. I mean, shit, it probably was going on. I probably wasn't just overthinking or nothing like that I mean you know but I try and be more like God and try and love you know love people love others you know and um one thing I don't believe in is um you know doing motherfuckers dirty like one thing you will not catch me doing is fucking with your nigga period like if I fuck with you and not even just saying if I fuck with you if a man got a woman and I know about it trust and believe Keisha will not be the one dealing with him but to the part where I, it's individuals who I so-called intertwine with here and there, not like normal, but I don't deal with a lot. So it's only a very few. So this bitch took the scissors and cut her own motherfucking rope to even assume anything, assume the worst of me without even at least giving me the benefit of doubt to even call me and ask me, you know, like, hey, friend, is this whoop, whoop, or whoop, whoop? And let me explain myself before you just jump the gun and say I'm dead to you. <laughs> like, motherfuckers be needing to pick and choose their words correctly or pick and choose how they treat a motherfucker correctly because at the end of the day, I'm not going to be the one losing. I'm not speaking as if I'm just this boss ass bitch or nothing like that, but I just know my worth and I know what I bring to every single ass table I've ever sat at. I've never sat at a table and just took barely even ate if it came down to that person feeding me. I mean, in so many words, and I'm not even just talking about no money, like fuck money. We talking about bigger shit, life shit, adult shit. Not no materialistic ass shit. I'm not in competition with not a motherfucking soul walking this bitch. And especially motherfuckers that I fuck with. But anyways, I'm getting off topic. Okay, so I just feel like if a person don't trust you, how could you dare to trust them? It's not always about treating a person how they treat you. Because sometimes you can teach a, you can teach a motherfucker how, how to treat a person. But if you have known this for years and still review the same behavior, you have to cut or set boundaries ASAP because things won't change. It'll only get worse. And we have to believe these people when they constantly show us time after time. Let them stop fighting Let them stop fighting themselves thinking they'll change because that won't, at least not for you.